Hey man, how's it going? I'm asleep, asshole! It's the middle of the night out here! Oh yeah? Anyway, I was just wondering what you were going to do for the Christmas episode because I didn't want my episode to conflict with yours. Well, I'll make it easy for you. I'm not making a Christmas episode, so knock yourself out! What? Why aren't you making a Christmas? Bye! Hey, Gorilla, wake up! We need to make the Christmas episode! Fuck off! We are not doing a Christmas episode! God damn it! Man, fuck a Christmas episode. Bah fucking humbug. Variants. Variants. Oh, Jesus, what now? Dan Classic. You have forgotten about the spirit of Christmas. So tonight, you will be visited by three spirits. No, 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 no! We are not doing the Christmas Carol! But, but, but they have these chains and, and the spirits are gonna come visit you? No, they won't! Every other YouTuber that did a Christmas special did the Christmas Carol. So, fuck that! Fuck a Christmas special, fuck the Christmas Carol, and fuck you, fanboy! But they have these chains, and, and three spirits are busy. Obviously, you're not gonna leave me alone. Well, pretty much. Look, I'm not doing the Christmas Carol, but if I do a Christmas special, will you leave me alone? It's a deal. Good! And this week, it's Figures Toy Company, Jesus and Santa Claus! Now fuck off, fanboy! Variants, variants. And just for you, I'm not doing any variants! <laughs> oh, no, oh, no fair. fair. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals! Raz Holly, hit the music! Well, it's Christmas time, and even though I said Mego Cheers was the last episode until next year due to overwhelming demand, I'm back at it again with another review. And since it's Christmas, we're looking at a couple of figures from Figures Toy Company that go right along with the season. Believe it or not, it's Santa Claus and Jesus Christ by Figures Toy Company. Christmas, if you didn't know, is a religious and cultural holiday celebrated by billions of people around the world commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ, who, according to John Lennon, is almost as popular as the Beatles. So I'll spare you the long-winded explanation. Pretty much everybody knows that part of Christmas, but you may still be wondering what does the birth of Jesus Christ have to do with a fat bearded guy who lives at the North Pole making toys for good children? Santa Claus, if you didn't know, is a mythical character originating in Western Christian culture based on the exploits of Saint Nicholas of Myra, a 4th century Greek bishop. Through the spread of Christianity in the Western world, other mythical characters and tales from various cultures have been woven in and evolved to what we now know as good old Santa Claus. But we're not talking about that stuff, we're talking about action figures. And here comes Figures Toy Company again, the spiritual successor to Mego that's been producing reproductions and original 8-inch clothed figures in the vein of classic Mego figures for nearly 20 years. And you'd be surprised at the library of characters Figures Toy Company has been able to produce in that time. And today we're looking at two in particular, if you haven't already guessed, 
it's Santa Claus and Jesus Christ. Which may seem weird, but when you think about it, both are known worldwide, have established followings, and are in the public domain, so no licensing fee is needed to produce as many figures as you can sell. So why not Jesus and Santa? Anyway, Figures Toy Company first produced a Santa figure a few years ago and followed it up later with Mrs. Claus in a variant Santa in an alternate outfit. Jesus was produced this year and comes in two versions, the white robe and the variant blue and red. I got the two standard versions of these figures just in time for Christmas, so let's take a look at Jesus and Santa by Figures Toy Company. All right, so here he is. It's Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, and here I am in Nazareth recording this episode, so that's pretty cool, too. I um, mean, here he is in the packaging. Um, points to Figures Toy Company uh, on the packaging here. Um, they could have put him in a little box, but they decided to, to do the clamshell. These are the clamshells that they make to protect the little boxes, the little uh, Mego style um, boxes, I, I believe. I believe. A uh, cool thing about the packaging here with Jesus Christ, um, if you turn it around, you can see it better. There's actually a little uh, see-through stained glass window on the back. We don't have a lot of mumbo jumbo, just a little bit of your, your regular old stuff. You know, 2019 Figures Toy Company. All right, so this is actually from last year. Um, I thought this was this year. Anyway, never mind. Um, here he is. You have Jesus Christ uh, proudly displayed in the package. I did not get the variant one. Um, clothes look a wee bit wrinkled in the box. I'm not sure why that is. Looks like he slept in his gear. Um, and he's got the uh, the plastic wrap around the face so that his hair doesn't go all crazy. Um, as they, uh, the, the plugged hair is known to do. Now... Um, I know everybody's thinking, everybody's thinking, oh, I can't wait to see Dan Classic make fun of this thing. It's like, hey, man, I bought it. <laughs> like, how much fun of it can I make? I actually think it's kind of neat. So, um, we're going to take a look at this, uh, this Jesus Christ figure. We're going to pull him out of the box. Um, I do see that there, there are some twist ties in there. I do not like twist ties on the figures, but, um, you know, figures, toy company, small company or whatever. And, uh, you know, they make high quality packaging. Um, their figures are kind of hit and miss, but this is a newer figure. So hopefully it's in, you know, it's it's a little bit better quality than uh, some of the older stuff I've looked at. So uh, we're gonna take our old scissors here and break the seal on the figures toy company uh, thingy there and get that out of here. And let's take a look at Jesus Christ outside of the packaging. All right, so here he is. It is Jesus Christ uh, by Figures Toy Company. Um, his head is <laughs> super loose. Good Lord. It's like they've already, like, bore out the head hole or something like that. His body is is pretty good quality. Um, it's not as bad as the, the Indian uh, produced um, figures, but still not as good as the, uh, I think it's the superhero style body. Let's take a look. Um... I can't tell the difference between the superhero body and the uh, whatever, the regular uh, Chinese Hong Kong body that they have there at Figures Toy Company. Um, this is either one of those. Um, but you know what? He looks all right. He's, uh, I'm, I could definitely either gonna restring this or we're gonna do S-Type Jesus. But let's take a look at the, the head sculpt, which is the only really thing. The clothes and the head sculpt are gonna be our proprietary pieces here. Um, so let's take a look at Jesus' head. Um, how they did the, uh, how they did the, the, the Messiah here. Uh, and there he is, um, with his, uh, with his blue eyes, uh, and his, uh, long, long brown hair. Um, it's nice looking, it's nice looking, uh, hair there, uh, on Jesus Christ. He has his, uh, traditional gear that you might see him in, 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 uh, pictures, in illustrations. He's got his red gimmick and, uh, white um under gimmick there and um yeah he's posable i mean it's like a migo style figure so he's got 14 points of articulation and whatnot um a pretty nice quality body doesn't seem like it's gonna break in my hands even if it does um okay look it, that that there you go um so uh yeah so he's already broken i'm gonna have to give him an s-type body uh it'll be uh, some sort of awesome miracle you know what screw that i was gonna give him an s-type body anyway and these knees um always need to be 
uh, replaced at some point in, or in time or other. Um, Biggest Toy Company makes some cheap shit sometimes. So that's Jesus Christ. Ho oh, ho! Oh, my fucking ho! It's Santa Claus by Figures Toy Company. Um, let's see if he's a little better quality than than uh, the Jesus Christ figure. Um, this is actually 2015 special edition, so don't uh, you know? Don't hold your breath thinking that this is going to be a better figure. I better be careful with it now that now that I'm looking at it. Um, these things. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that Figures Toy Company makes their figures to be left in the box, but at least they have very high quality packaging so that you can't break it while it's already in the box. You can only break it by taking out of it and trying to fucking play with it. Um, but the bodies can be restrung. They can be replaced. They can be repaired. And, uh, and I can show you how to do it here, right here on the channel. Um, also, uh, look around on YouTube, you can find it. But let's take a look at the packaging. For Santa Claus, Old Saint Nick, we have a uh, beautiful illustration of, uh, of Santa Claus, Father Christmas, uh, Pierre Noel, um, or <laughs> whatever you would like to call him. Um, and you've got a uh, fucking nice little sculpt on his face. We'll see that when we open it up. On the back side, we have uh, Twas the Week Before Christmas. So let me go ahead and, and do a reading. Of, uh, of the packaging here of Twas the Week Before Christmas. It looks like it is a play on the night before Christmas. Um, so let's, uh, let's take a look. Twas the week before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring except Father's mouse. The laptop was humming, the browser was hopping, as Father did his last minute shopping. Okay. The children were nestled and snug in their beds, while visions of action figures danced in their heads. As father scrambled in walked mom, she said, fucking turn off that porno and put down your dong. <laughs> no, it said, uh, <laughs> as father scrambled in walked mom, she said, you better go to figurestoycompany.com. They have wrestling gear for Billy, monsters for Stan. You can get a superhero for sweet Molly Ann. You can get their face on a figure, which would be wise. Imagine when they open it. What a surprise. You're not going to be able to do this all in a week before Christmas. you got to give uh, Figures Toy Company a little bit more lead time. Uh, so Father did his shopping and Christmas soon came. The children found their presents. Each with their name. They were retro action figures like father once had. And the children gathered to tell him, These figures are so bad! <laughs> they said, uh, Thank you, you're a great dad. Um, well, and then they opened them up. And then they said, These figures are so bad. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at Santa Claus outside of the box. I'll grab my fucking scissors here so I can unseal the, uh, the figures toy company patented. Um, zip tie that out of here and we will see what Santa Claus looks like outside of the packaging. Alright, so here's Santa Claus in his, uh, his gear, his Santa Claus gear. He's big, he's fat, he's got the fat body on there. John Wild, um, and he's, uh, you know, he's poseable. His hat fucking won't stay on. It goes flying off into the fucking sunset. But uh, hey, look, here's Santa Claus's face. Um, they did a, I guess, decent job on the on the paint job there. It looks like, like Santa. Ho ho ho! It's me, Santa Claus. Ha 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 ha! Figures Toy Company makes dog shit. Ha 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 ha! No, they're not that bad. Honestly, the 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 quality on the on the outfit's pretty good. Um, let me get the fucking hat. So let's, I found the hat, get it back on his dumb head. Um, it's it's kind of like, like glued or sewn together so that the, it kind of lays down and doesn't stick straight up. So this is a great figure for display. You could actually get this, you could get the Mrs. Claus figure. He has his little black pirate boots on. Um, and you could have this set up for display at Christmas time. Um, along with the Jesus figure if you if you wanted to and, and you could use these as Christmas decorations um, 
as toys, um, they're kind of weak. Uh, it's it's kind of tough to, to make the case for these as toys. Now, you can always do an S-type body swap out. There is no fat body S-type body, not yet at least. Um, I do hope that they do eventually make us a fat type uh, or a fat S-type body. Um, in the meantime, he could be restrung. You can restring these bodies um, when the, when the uh, shoulders are going to eventually uh, fucking shit out on you and, and pop out of the sockets. Um, the, the suit here is so thick that he doesn't really hold a pose. It just kind of wants to go back <laughs> to where, where it came from. The pants are okay. Maybe you can fly them. It's Santa Claus, it's super fucking Santa. Um, so yeah, all in all, it's not a bad figure. And um, for 30 bucks, yeah, it's collectible price. It, I would say like when you, some of their figures, when you can get them in the little display box, the little cardboard box, um, they they are cheaper. They're like 20 bucks. I would go that route or get them in the little, uh, the plastic bag. Uh, you can get them in the plastic bag sometimes. In the plastic bag, they'll be 20 bucks. For 20 bucks, this is a great figure. Uh, 30 bucks, um, yeah, it's a little expensive for what it is. Uh, but it, it hasn't broken in my hands yet. The fucking hat keeps falling off. But other than that, it's Santa Claus, my figures, toy company, and he's pretty great. Oh, hello there. <laughs> hey, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic. We've had a lot of fun this year, haven't we? Yeah, and we're gonna have even more fun in 2021 with all new episodes of the Dan Classic Show. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, you know hit the bell and all that other shit so that you'll never miss a video when we come out with new ones. And we've got all kinds of great stuff in store for next year. So make sure you do that. And until the meantime, we'll see you next time on the Dan Classic Show. But until then, have a happy holiday, a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is that you're gonna celebrate this holiday season. Have a good time, be safe, and we'll see you next year on the Dan Classic Show. Raz Holly, hit the music! Shut up, dude.